Docking can be one of the most intimidating aspects of boating, especially on a single engine outboard powered boat with a bit of freeboard. Outboards typically have a single propeller with limited low RPM thrust. In forward, the propeller has plenty of grip, but in reverse, exhaust gases can ventilate the propeller, causing it to slip. This means an outboard powered boat does not back up or respond to reverse throttle very well, making docking even more difficult. The benefits of a bow thruster seem obvious to anyone who has seen one in action. A bow thruster, however, may not be practical on a smaller outboard powered boat. Can a stern thruster actually have some advantages over a bow thruster on a single engine boat like this? Well, today, we're gonna find out. Of course, maximum maneuverability can be achieved with both bow and stern thrusters. But for smaller single engine boats, especially those with outboard power, a stern-only thruster can be quite effective. Now, one of the big advantages to side shift thrusters is that you're not drilling big holes in the boat. But an even bigger advantage to the outboard version is that you don't have to drill any holes in the hull at all. In fact, they're so easy to mount, most people can do them in about four hours. It simply mounts above the cavitation plate with four bolts. Waterproof wiring is routed up the leg and then up the same path as the outboard harness. No holes through the hull or below the waterline. And you can often tie into the existing engine battery. With just a few tools, a DIY install can be completed in about half a day. The technique is a bit different from a bow thruster, but in practice can be just as effective, if not more effective than a bow thruster. Let's walk through the steps. Step one, use the steering wheel and a small amount of forward throttle to point the bow towards the dock. Note, as the bow moves towards the dock, the stern will move away from the dock. Step two, with the steering wheel still turned towards the dock, push the stern thruster joystick to move the stern towards the dock as well, while using some forward throttle to keep the bow also pointed at the dock. Step three, once the bow is getting close to the dock, put the boat in neutral and walk forward to tie the bow to the dock. Step four, if wearing the remote key fob lanyard, you can now use it from the dock to gently push the stern up and tie it off. Otherwise, simply reboard and use the thruster joystick to push the stern against the dock and tie up. By using a combination of forward throttle and thruster operation, one can control the position of the bow and stern of the boat. Once the bow is touching the dock from any angle, simply use the stern thruster to bring the stern in. If you have a mate, position them at the bow with a line in hand to tie off when close enough that it's safe to do so. It's an extremely effective technique and as simple as that. Not only is a stern thruster effective, but an ST230 is affordable and extremely easy to install.